Let's cross it up so that we can pull from your muscle and cerebral memory what we need for today's class. This is the third in a series of jump board classes. Uh, it builds on the one before, but we'll add a couple of things as well. With this, let's uncross, lock it in. Look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit. Uh, you'll turn to face the tower end. You should have on one red string. There is a little space uh, behind your sits bones on a carriage. And your legs can be out like this, hugging the, uh, the shoulder rests, or they can be like this, slightly bent on the headrest. I'm going to just hold my handles and breathe in long through my spine. Pull the handles in towards your chest and hold them there as you drop your chin and roll down until you feel your sacrum bone flat and then keep your arms bent and we'll take this back up again slowly and then elongate the spine. Do that again. Drop your chin, scoop and tuck and roll it down. Your arms have not changed and then stay curved as you use your abs to pull yourself back up with assist from the springs, and then elongate the spine. Do that one more time. Nice, easy, slow roll down, shoulders down and back, eye on the navel, hold at your low point, breathe, and as you exhale, let's slowly pull it back up again. And up, stay curved, and then elongate the spine. Let's roll back this time, all the way down, and lift the arms out over your head, and pull yourself up. Uh-huh, watch. Okay. Okay, just adding a little arm choreography. Roll down, arms over the head, and roll up as you circle the arms from beneath. Okay, let's do it again. Roll down, arms over the head, circle them wide as you pull up. And back to your start position, we'll do one more. Roll down, Arms over the head, arms circle as you pull up to the top. Great. Uh, bring your hands together so that they're like this, shoulders down and back, and then roll back, turn to your right, and roll up. Okay? We'll roll back, kind of whip out to the left there, and turn up. Roll back. To your right again, we're just warming up the obliques a little. And roll back, circle around to your left, and come up. Good, let's warm, good. You got it. <laughs> if you need to finish out, do one more. Otherwise, here we go, I'm going to elongate my legs, crossing one ankle over the other. And get a grip on your handles, so that you can pull apart as you lean to the right and then come back to the middle. Pull apart as you lean the whole torso to the left and come back to the middle. Scoop tight, feel your chest open, feel behind the shoulders working. And arms stay straight, abs engaged. Do a couple of more. And again. Let's do one more each way. Pull wide and center. To your left, you go pull wide, back to the top. So I am going to grip the handles and hold uh, the little taped parts of, um, okay. okay, with the thumbs on the top. This way I get a lot more traction with this. I'm going to pull my right elbow back as I turn to the right. And then extend the arm out. Do that on the left side. So naturally the right rope is going slack and extend out. Let's pull again, rotating, and pull again on the left. Spine is a straight axis as you rotate. Let's do a couple of more. And here we go on the left. Last time each way, nice rotation. You can feel lats and obliques. You can also feel triceps and rear delt towards working. 
bring it back to the middle and hold. Uh, this time I want you to just pull the, sp the, sp the ropes wide so you've got a nice little connection here. Uh, a little forward, don't have to go too far out, good. Hold them like this and breathe as you exhale, roll down like this. And then roll back up, your arms never change. And do this again, it's all in the spine. Roll back, keep pressing back with those arms. And then roll back up, spine curved, curved, and then elongate it. We'll do one more. Roll back, a lot of core here. And back up you go, keeping that light tension on your ropes. Good, let's release that. Uh, you can just let your uh, handles and ropes drop to the floor in the well, or else they'll bang around. Okay, let's turn, uh, take your TheraBand. And it's going to turn into a little tacky shawl here, okay? So this is what it looks like from the back. Then uh, hold it with, uh, I guess first you ought to up your tension on your springs. Let's put you at um, put something, maybe around two and a half or even two reds, a blue and a yellow for you. We're just going to do some squats and a little bit of arm work. So come down to the very end. You've got both ends in one hand as you twirl yourself on. Okay, your feet are planted, toes to heels. You've got a pretty good bit of tension on your, um, on your TheraBand. And breathe in as you exhale. Straighten the legs out as you push the arms up toward the ceiling. You're holding your band. Okay? And then as you bend your knees, the elbows bend. And press up, up, up. And then down, down, down. So we're just adding a little bit of arm work here. Stretching up against the resistance. Now, let's focus on the feet and legs, of course. So your uh, glutes are really taking the brunt of this. They're starting it and they're finishing it. And up and bend. Scoop tight as you lift and then bend. We'll do one more like this. And then take it out again and hold. Arms up, legs straight. Let's add some little pulses here with the elbows and the knees. So they're tiny little things. I've got a fist going to keep a strong hold on the TheraBand. I'm squeezing my glutes, inner and outer thighs, and I'm really feeling biceps and triceps develop on these little pulses. Go for three, two, and one. Bend the knees and the elbows. Turn it to a Pilates V. The heels can be separated and the arms are going wide. This time we'll hug a tree as we straighten the legs out and then bend again, elbows and arms wide. And squeeze through your chest and then wide you go. Good. And focusing on glutes, inner and outer thighs. And pectorals, biceps, triceps. You're making a perfect circle with the arms over your chest. Oh. Let's go for three more. And squeeze. Two more. Last time. All right, little pulses here. We're closing and opening the top of the circle with your arms and squeezing the glutes and inner thighs. The wrists have a lot of integrity here. And we're squeezing and squeeze. Squeeze your pectorals to keep the work there. Just keep uh, the backs of the shoulders on the floor. Let's go for three, two, and one, and bend. Now, I would release the band, roll your fingers around, and um, your wrist too. Now, I want you to stack your feet, meaning uh, we've got both feet on the uh, the jump board, the bottom foot, the one on the bottom, uh, has got the heel up. 
okay? So as you press out, we come up to both tiptoes and then take it back down. So we're coming up to tiptoes here, yeah, and back down. Just let the, um, the TheraBand hang for a moment and we'll add it in a minute and squeeze up. So it's as if you're standing on a balance beam, one foot in front of the other. Go for three and two and one more time. I want you to hold out here. Let's do some fancy work. So we're going to change feet. The one that was on the bottom now goes on top. Good, so we're just holding that tension. And then we'll do it again. Bend both knees and straighten them out. So we're working from a very high heel, both feet, and squeezing out as if you're standing on a balance beam. Your belly is scooped and we're pressing out. Feeling glutes the whole time press. Let's go for two more. Out you go. And last time. Out you go. Hold, hold, hold. Now drop both heels and releve, meaning lift both heels. Drop both heels and up. So we're just working a little bit of calf here. Up and two more. Last time like this, hold. And let's do that fancy change again. So the bottom foot will then come onto the top. And then drop both heels and releve. Drop both heels and releve. You're inhaling and exhaling. Simple little things just to warm up your calves. Last couple. And good. Then parallel your feet and bring the carriage back to bumper. Let's take hold of the TheraBand again. This time you're going to hold both ends in both fists. Your fists are right at your sternum bone. The shoulders are down and back and my fists are stacked one on top of each other with the bands, uh, the ends of the bands here. All right, let's take a, a nice squat position so your heels can even be right at the top of the jump board with the toes off the ends. Breathe and as you exhale, press straight up and back down. If you find that you need more tension, you adjust here. Now the trick to this is keeping your broad shoulders on the mat and your shoulders are wide across the front and we're just working in a much narrower stance and you're squeezing out and exhaling out. Imagine working both arms equally. You might find that one has kicked in there a little more than the other. We'll go for two more wrists that have a lot of integrity here. And last time, good, let's bring it back to center and give yourself a little more tension because now the arms are going back and forth. Now you might find that the flaps sort of hit you. So if you want to bunch them up and put the ends uh, in your fist like this, you won't get hit every time. Now turn out, heels uh, maybe up at the top corners, toes off, and as you straighten the legs, the arms go behind you and they come back toward the knees and out behind and touch the knees. Exhaling out, inhaling back. So we're just keeping steady tension on these straps, on the TheraBand straps, and scoop tight, feel your glutes. Let's go for a couple of more. And last time, good, bring it back to the bumper, and you can slide your uh, TheraBand out, just drop it, and sit yourself up. And let's adjust your spring, so take off one red, and what you're ending up with is one red and one blue. Roll back down. So um, my headrest is up comfortably. I'm in my core, feet together and parallel. Let's take a few jumps here. Bring a bit of tension. But they're easy jumps to get started. Remember toe ball heel landing, even if the heels immediately pop up. Now, today I'd like to send the legs up just a little bit. 
I'll take a look at mine. I'm gonna kick them up a little. Yeah, and land. Up and land. So they're not going real high, not yet anyway. And get a sense of where your feet are landing. Same spot every time. Let's go for a couple of more. And last time. Turn into Pilates B, keep going. Heels are very close together when you land. Legs are still sort of springing upward over the height of the hips. As I come off, my toes are about jump board width apart by default. And we're starting to get a little more aggressive with these jumps. Scoop tight. A lot of energy in the legs when they come off. Three more. Two more. Good. Go back to parallel and keep going. Spring off from the glutes, legs go a little high. All right, this time, spring off, land wide. Spring off, land together. Get a sense of where your feet are. You can look for a moment if you need to. Like bring up just a little bit with each spring off. Scoop tight, wide and together. Keep breathing, keep scooping. A couple of more. And last little set. Good. Let's do little jumps here. Matter of fact, change legs. Like you're doing a little skip, the legs don't even straighten out. All right, just a few more little skips. Good. Then come back to both feet parallel. We did a little bit of this yesterday. Let's see if we can, uh, I'm going to try to control mine a little bit better. It's three little jumps, and then one big one. Pow. Three little jumps, and then one big one. Good. Three little, and one big one. Pow. Landing, controlled. Trying not to bang around on the machine. Let's do two more little patterns. And you should be on your last one here. Good. Little jumps, just to sort of calm down from that for a moment. And then I want to do three big jumps right in a row. We'll do about four sets of those. Let's go. One, two, three, and a few little jumps. Let's go again with those big ones. One, two, three, and a bunch of little ones. Maybe three. And here we go again. One, big jump, one more, and then a series of little ones. Why not do one more set? Three big ones, and then some littles. Take a deep breath. Make sure that your chest is not rattling. And we're going to slow it down and finally come to still. Sit up and let's take the tension down. All right, so you have reduced your tension to one red and you're in your core. And you'll find that as we take some practice leaps here that your carriage is a little longer and slower. As you leap off, the legs today come up just a little bit. You can feel that in your low abs. Touch them and make sure that each, with each leap off, they're fully engaged. A couple more like this. And good. Let's go. Right leg goes up straight, comes down bent, up straight with the left, and we're changing like a can-can. A lot of energy in both legs. Breathing and exhaling. Landing toe ball heel as good as you can each time. 
Couple more each side. And good. It's just, just some little jumps here. These little ones, not even um, straightening the legs out. Come back to uh, parallel feet. And this time, as you jump out, I want you to change legs like you're doing a couple of marches. Good. Probably three. <laughs> That's as many as I can work in. Try to alternate pulling knees in first. Just adding as much choreography as we can out there. That should go right into your abs to hold everything stable in your neutral side. Whoops. One more. That nice little set. Good. Let's just stick with some little jumps here. <laughs> Hold your right knee or behind the thigh and just jump on your left. Little ones. And then change legs. Turn to Pilates V and keep going. And let's rev it back up again. As you leap off, the legs lift just a little over hip height and then land in the middle of the board. A couple more. And your choreography is to pull in and land. Pull in and land. Try to straighten the legs out before you land. So it's a quick little movement here. Look tight, like a frog would leap. Good, you're doing great. For a couple more. And last little set here. Good, and just little jumps. You can hold behind your thighs. I'm uh, liking doing one leg at a time to give uh, that hip flexor a rest. And then change legs. Okay. Now uh, let's play moguls with this next set. So get a little group go, uh, jump going with feet parallel, legs straight. A couple more. And then we start our rotations. So you'll land knees facing right knees facing left. So we feel this rotation more in the hip joints. Sacrum bone stays flat, but it's certainly referring into obliques. And good. Keep going, feeling that work through the waist. Couple more. Last little set. Good. And just a few little jumps. Now, I noticed on uh, yesterday when I looked at our video that when we were doing the cross country, your top foot was going off. And I want you to put both feet on as you land. But they're as if you're walking on a balance beam. The back heel is going to stay up. Your front heel, the top heel is going to drop. And we're just changing each time. We kind of visited this when we were warming up today. Breathing and exhaling. Landing. That top foot, toe ball, heel as good as you can. The bottom heel stays up. Spring off from your glutes. One more. Last little sit. Good. Take a few little jumps. You can hold behind one thigh or the other. I'm finding that useful today. Change legs. And when you know you can get a nice deep breath, then we'll come to a stop. Good. 
bring it into the bumper and sit up. We'll put one blue spring on, take your red one off. Adam fell in love with that app five series yesterday, so we're going to repeat it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this. The first one, as you leap off, you pull a knee in twice, then the other knee in twice. Pull, pull, change, pull, pull, change, okay? Now, if you want to um, support your head and your hands and do the same thing, you're looking up at the top of your uh, wall, so you're really not uh, putting any compression on your throat. And pull, pull, and pull, pull. A couple of more each way. Last little set. Number two, both knees fold in, fold in, fold in. I'm going to change that up just a little bit. See if we can fold in and uh, send them up. Fold in, send them up. Land. Fold in, send them up. Land. All right, just a couple more like that. And then my favorite. Just do one leg at a time. Here we go. Right knee bends, turn toward it and land. Left knee bends, turn toward it and land. Okay? So the head is supported in your hands. And you're exhaling out as you turn. Elbows stay wide. Sacrum bone is stable. Working like crazy through your obliques here. Exhaling. And there we can. Head is supported. It never drops down, really. It's kind of cleaner that way. And twist. A couple more side to side. Then I want you to hold on uh, your right side and just do a few right on the right. So turn to the right. Center, turn to the right, center. Right knee is bending, of course. A couple of more. Last set, we'll change to the left side. Left knee bends, turn toward it, land. Turn toward it again, land. So we're just beating up on that left side. A couple of more. Last time. Good, release the head down to your headrest and just take a few little jumps to come down from that. Good. And when you can uh, take a, a nice deep breath, we'll come to the bumper and sit up. Put on one red. And we may have to adjust you, but we're going to reorient completely now. So you'll come off. You know, you may need uh, leave a red and a blue. I'll bet you that's better for you. Just try it to start. Okay, your thumbs are at a right angle like this from your fingers. And we're going to put uh, the thumbs at your shoulder rest and let your fingers go to the wood. Okay, so figure out if this tension is right for you. Shoulders are down and back. Your torso never lurches back and forward like this. It's going to stay real stable as you straighten your leg out, right leg out, and then bring it back. Exhale out and inhale back. So we're not jumping. Try to keep your heel flat for as long as you can and press out and scoop tight feel your shoulders fixed and go for three two more hold it out there hold 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 all right your bottom knee is going to press in and out 
along with your hands. So I'm actually using my left glute to do this press. Hands are just responding, so it's not my shoulders pressing or arms. Go for three, two, and one. Bring it back to the bumper. Let's do the other side. Left foot on the jump board. Fix your shoulders, scoop tight, and go. Left leg stretches out and bends. And out you go and bend. Torso is perfectly stable here. And scoop tight as you go. And squeeze from your left glute. Stretching out the back of the leg. Three more like this. Two more. Last time, take it out and hold, lock the knee. And your right knee is going to pulse toward the tower end. That comes from the glute. You feel abs contracting each time. So I'm not really pushing out with the arms. And go for three, little movements. Two, don't let your arms work. And one. Bring it back to the bumper. Sit back on your heels for a moment and wiggle your hands out. Fingers. Okay. <laughs> Let's take off your blue string. You get a real clean torso. Whoops. Let's start that again. So right foot on and leap out. Good. Exhaling. Keep the leg at hip height. Don't let it drop. Good, that's a lot of glute work in there. Out, go for three, two, one more. Turn out and keep going. The knee tries to stay high. Good, landing with the feet, the toes pointing toward the camera. Your torso is still centered or the upper torso over the shoulder rest. Let the rest of the torso slightly rotate it. Three more. Two and one. Bring it back to the bumper and just tiny little leaps here for a moment. And then to the bumper you go. Roll out your wrists and your fingers. And let's do the other side. Holding the top. <laughs> Mine are pretty sweaty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Out. Remember the heel stays at uh, hip height. That's glute and hamstring holding it up there. Shoulders are fixed, belly is scooped. And we're going again. Wrists have a pretty good bit of integrity, so they're very stable. Three, two, one. Turn out and keep going. The knee is high as it bends and as it straightens. Exhaling. Pelvis is slightly rotated, but your shoulder girdle faces the shoulder rests. Scoop tight and go. Spring out from the glute. Three more. Two more. And last time. Good. Bring it back to the bumper. If you need to, a couple of little soft bounces. Good. Then sit hips to heels and roll out your wrists and fingers again. All right. Put your shoulder rest down and find your ball. Put it in the well right at your uh, headrest. your box and we're using short box today <laughs> good so you've got it uh, between the shoulder pegs and the uh, shoulder rest so it doesn't move now take a moment to put on every spring you've got we're going to do a version of the tree to pull down today Find that strap, the webbing strap, that should be dropped down into uh, past the springs there. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
So we're going to come on and put the feet, or let's just start with the left foot under that strap. You're seated right at the edge, front edge of your short box. Yeah. Left foot under. Pull your right knee in towards your chest, keeping your spine as long as it'll go. And let's see if we can straighten that leg out and bend it. Straighten the leg as good as you can and bend it. There's a lot of arm muscle going on to hold that uh, thigh into your chest. And then we'll hold straightened out. Walk up to uh, toward the ankle. Now pull the straight leg as possible in towards your chest. Maybe uh, aiming toward that right shoulder a little bit. A couple of more. And then hold. Here comes the tree. Walk down the leg. Your sacrum rests on your uh, box and put your head on the ball. All right, and then hold the rails. Okay? The right leg goes up toward the ceiling and you're just breathing. See if we can straighten that right leg out a little bit more. You can pull on a leg if you wish. And then let's circle the top leg. Just little ones. Hold the rails with both hands. Sneak a peek at me. My arms are over my head. See? So you have both legs up? Nope, just one. It looks like, oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then lift your head as you hold behind your right thigh, and then walk up the leg again, down toward the left part of the shin and ankle, and pull that straight leg in a couple of times, and then hold. Now take your left foot out of the strap and put it on your carriage and cross the leg the ankle over your top, your bottom knee. So you're sitting like a guy would sit. The arms go up and then you just fold over your thighs and open that right hip. So you're breathing and exhaling. The spine can just be drooped over. We're going for that stretch. And then let's come out of that and change feet. Is under the strap. My toes are against the jump board. I'm pulling my left thigh in now. And then leg straightens and bends. Up as good as you can, holding behind the thigh, a lot of arm here. And then hold the leg straight. Walk up toward your ankle or the low part of your shin. Straight leg as possible, pulls in towards your left shoulder a little and releases. This is an arm job. Trying to keep the legs straight. Looks pretty good there. And then I want you to hold. All right. Walk down your leg and into the well. Remember your sacrum bone should be resting on the top, uh, on the back edge of the box. Your arms go over your head and you're holding the rails. Can you hold the rails? Can you take a look at my arms? Yeah, they're holding the back of, yes. That's a little more supportive than just droop by your side. So your left leg is way up toward the ceiling. You're breathing. And let's make some little circles up here. Around, not big ones. Go the other way a few times, just really opening through your chest, actually through your whole front chain. Hold the leg up toward the ceiling and reach up and grasp with one hand behind your thigh. The head is up and we're walking up. Up, up the leg. Pull the leg in towards your shoulder, left shoulder, and extend out. Do that again. We'll do one more. And then take your right foot out of the strap, put it on this carriage, and cross your left uh, ankle on top of the knee. The arm goes, arms go up, and then drape out over your torso and breathe into your back. Let's come up seated. Take the box away. Uh, one 
yellow and one red spring on. And I'm going to stand at the back so you see what I do. This is our last stretch. This is for the inner thigh. So uh, you're going to take your uh, right, we've done this before in the studio. You take your left, or let's see, are you standing at the back? Okay. Then you're going to uh, take your leg closest to the shoulder rest and put it on the far shoulder rest from you. Flip the toes up and then straighten that leg. Okay, so same arm as leg is on the front edge of the carriage and that helps me control this. And we're bending and straightening the other leg, the one that's on the floor. And I'm also kind of pressing out with the hand and arm that's on the uh, jump board. Getting a deep stretch in that inner thigh. Go for a couple of more. And last time, did come up to bending. And let's just sort of skip over to the other side. Okay, so my uh, same hand of the foot that's on the shoulder rest is going to be helping and assisting with the carriage. The knee that's on the floor is going to bend and straighten. That gives us the momentum for the stretch. The hand that's on the uh, jump board is assisting too. And you're exhaling and inhaling, just breathing into that stretch. Do a couple of more. And last time. Good. Bring it up standing. Turn around, shake out the legs a little bit. And sit yourself down. Let's put this into your muscle and cerebral memory so that we can pull it out whenever we need it and get a nice uh, cardiovascular workout. Well, we have one more to go in the series. Looking forward to it. Let's uncross, bring everything together and look straight ahead of you, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit and there's your class today.